Welcome, foolish mortals. Yeah! <laughs> Hey guys, so we're here back in with day 10 of the 13 days of Halloween. And today, as promised, we are taking a bit of a Disney route this time. Those of you who don't know, The Muppets is owned by Disney. Much like everything else. <laughs> uh, but today we're taking a look at the Palisades Toys Muppets. Not sure what series this is. But today, we're looking at Uncle Deadly, a ghost, and a skull. Cool. Uh, but before we get started, I want to give a quick shout out to the provider of the intro music and outro music for 13 Days of Halloween this year, Grim Music 217 217 or 271 271. I can't remember the numbers exactly, so I'm going to say both so I don't look like a total doofus. Uh, but he did an awesome metal slash rock cover of Grim Grinning Ghosts from Disney's The Haunted Mansion. Uh, I've been using it in the intro and the outros of all these videos so far. Believe in his info in the description, but I haven't given him a shout out till now. So my apologies for that, but I will be sure to do that for the rest of 13 days. Even though there ain't much left, I'm actually not sure if he's on YouTube anymore, which kind of sucks. Um, I'd like to see him do some more covers, but Nonetheless, check them out. Link in the description below. So with that being said, let's get things started with this little skull. I'm going to leave that ghost back there because uh, we're going to be looking at him next. So the skull here is very cute. Um, it is a skull. Very reminiscent of the skulls from uh, Muppets on Pirate Island. Really like that. But uh, he can hold it in his hand, kind of, sort of. Uh, not going to do that, just to save some time. But it is a nice looking little skull. That is cool. And then we got little ghost. Little ghost, little ghost. With uh, articulated hands. And the ghost does glow in the dark, but uh, not very well. Not very well at all, actually. Uh... <laughs> If it works well enough, I will add a clip onto this video to show you how well it glows. But if it doesn't glow well at all, I'm not even going to bother. Uh, I, I don't remember it glowing that well. Even though it looks like it does, I, I don't think it does. Um, he does have a weebly wobbly stand, but he does have some flashing on the peg that goes into the base piece. Um, so maybe I'll just have to snip that off and it'll be... Nice and snug, because uh, right now it's kind of like a ball joint. It's weird. Um, but yeah, it's a little Jim Henson style ghost. And he does rotate on the... Yeah, this, this piece rotates too, it's just this is the looser part. But, with that being said... Oh, 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 Uncle Deadly. This dude looks gnarly. Looks really cool. He's got a stand, one peg on it. Generic stand. I th I hope this is his stand. I think it is. Now that I just flipped right over. Get back here. Um, you know, it's a black stand. I thought I had two pegs on it, but maybe it just has the one. Um. He is really cool looking. I love the detail on this figure. Make sure this thing is in focus. Because you need to see this. Excuse me. Um, lots of nice paint work throughout. You can see his shirt's torn in places. His suit jacket's torn in even more places. He just looks like he's been through the ringer. He looks dead. Like I don't know if he's supposed to be a zombie or... Or like a ghoul or anything. I mean, obviously he's a dragon, but I don't know if he's alive or dead. Or just a creepy arse looking dude. But uh, he definitely fits the 13 days bill. 
definitely, definitely. So articulation on this guy, his head does just rotate. Pretty standard there. Uh, his arms go out to the side pretty far, actually. Um, back down. He's got a single hinge in the elbow. Gives you about 90 degrees, I think. So that's cool. He does have a bicep swivel, which that was the only joint that's like really kind of nerve wracking. Uh, when I first got this guy, that was a little stuck on both sides, but uh, a little bit of elbow grease and they move just fine. Uh, his wrists rotate. Pretty cool. Uh, waist rotates, as you can see, a little loose, but he does have a lot of upper body weight. His hips do kind of move forward and back on this kind of weird joint. Kind of splits his butt in half. But it, it works. His legs move forward and back. And then they do have a secondary kind of swivel right at the hip. If I can get that to move. It's kind of like a, a V cut. But they do move up and down too. So that's nice. Uh, and then his feet do rotate. No uh, hinge, though. Uh, and then nothing in the tail. His tail is actually connected to his suit jacket, so they could do the uh, kind of weird crotch thing they did on this guy. But yeah, cool figure nonetheless. Uh, not too much of a pain in the neck to stand. I mean, you just got to get his feet flat on the ground. Um, and, you know, you can use his tail to balance him, too. But, uh, yeah, cool figure. Real metal chain on his uh, vest, too. So, that's pretty much it. Uncle Deadly. Um, I'll bring this ghost back in here for a size comparison. Because it is technically a figure. You get two for the price of one with this guy but I'm uh, getting him back into focus here here he is Hagnon who is janky again really God. I don't know why this guy's always doing the pee pee dance it's kind of stupid there we go now this could work um Maybe he's too big, because as you all know, the Muppets are supposed to be smaller than normal people, but typically they're a lot smaller. I think Uncle Deadly is like three feet tall, more or less, three and a half feet. He's a bigger Muppet, but he's not like life-size or anything. He's not Sweetums. Remember Sweetums? <laughs> um, either way, cool-looking figure. Uh, I would recommend this to anyone who uh, likes the Muppets. Uncle Deadly's one of the cooler kind of side characters. Looks really awesome as far as the character design goes. And uh, I just, I, I overall, I like the character. He's my favorite of the Muppets. Surprise, surprise, Overlord likes the dragon ghoul thing. Um, and overall, he's got some nice posability to him. You could do enough with him, I think, to uh, get by. So, yeah, and uh, side note, Vincent Price, I believe Christopher Lee, and Alice Cooper were all guests on The Muppet Show, and all of which are associated with horror and the month of Halloween. So, uh, fun little tidbit there. Seen all but the Christopher Lee episode. I did not know he was on the show until recently. So, that's good to know. <clears throat> Excuse me. Fortunately, two of the three are no longer with us. I guess in the comments who that is. <laughs> but with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed day 10 of the 13 days of Halloween. Stay tuned. We're going to be continuing the Disney train until Halloween. Wrapping this sucker up in a few days, so uh, stay tuned for that. And, uh, 
Don't forget to check out Grim Music 217 217 or 271 271. Again, don't want to screw up the numbers, but link in the description below. So until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Woo! Be sure to bring your death certificate if you decide to join us.